Welcome back to Quarantine Apologetics, Defending the Faithful Under Lockdown. I'm Alan Rule, and today we're going to go uh, over another chronic error. And I'm actually building up to um, a presentation I'm going to do in the coming days, but uh, which I'm going to make a larger point. But in the meantime, we need to establish the fact that there are chronic errors. All right, this one is not uh, so much about the Christians, it's about the uh, Jews. Um, there are three main groups that uh, the Quran deals with, uh, the polytheists, the, uh, the Christians, and the Jews. Let's take a look at Surah 9, verses 29. Fight against those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day, and who do not consider unlawful what Allah and his messenger have made unlawful, and who do not adopt the religion of truth, i.e. Islam, from those who were given the scripture. Fight until they give the jizya willingly while they are humbled. Okay? So, you have to fight the Christians and Jews. Um and get the jizya. And, the, and there's a footnote here uh, that tells what the, j the jizya is. A tax required of non-Muslims exempting them from military service and entitling them to the protection of the Islamic State. Concurrently, zakat is not taken from them, being an obligation only upon Muslims. So in a Muslim, a traditional Muslim Sharia society back in the day, um, if you're a Muslim, you pay z zakat. If you are a Christian or Jew, you have to pay the jizya, which is another form of tax. So um, you, you're supposed to submit the Christian or Jew um, and get them to pay the jizya because they don't believe in the religion of truth. Religion of truth, according to the Quran, is Islam. Surprise, surprise. Now, What's the justification for this? Why do you have two parallel tax systems for Muslims, one for Christians and Jews? Uh, verse 30 gives the reason. Let's read verse 30. The Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah, and the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieve before them. May Allah destroy them, how are they deluded? May Allah destroy them. Well, if you destroy them, you're not going to get their tax money. Anyway, but the point is, um, you let's t how come Christians are being subjugated to pay this tax? Because they say the Messiah, Jesus, is the son of Allah. Jesus is the son of God. That's true in Christianity. How do we know it's true? Well, it's in our scriptures, it's in our prayers, our liturgy, our creeds. It's all over the place. Now, the Jews, well, and so because of that, we deserve to be uh, fought and subjugated and humbled and pay the jizya. Now, the Jews have to do all that as well, but it's because of their belief and the belief that Ezra is the son of Allah, that Ezra is the son of God. If you want to know who Ezra is, read the Old Testament. Um, of course, that is outright silly. No Jews ever believes that, believe that. And now the standard response is similar to one of the responses we uh, saw yesterday with the Trinity blunder in Surah 5, is that, oh, this was just some fringe sect of Jews that no one knows anything about. Of course, when it talks about the Christians saying the Messiah is the son of Allah, uh, it's talking about all Christians, because all Christians believe that. Whether you're um, Catholic, whether you're a monophysite, whether you're a Nestorian, uh, and other heretical sects, monothelites, they all believed in that. Now, um, so uh, there's, oh, there was this French sect. And they know that it's supposed to be the entire group of Jews, because... Jews have always had to pay this tax living under Islamic lands. If it was just the Jews that believed in Ezra is the son of God, no Jew would ever have to pay this tax, except that small 
fringe group that's from Arabia. But they don't. Obviously, this mentor for all Jews, just like all Christians are labeled, it's like all Christians, almost no Jews, 0.00001% of Jews who ever lived believe this nonsense, and we have no record of them. So obviously, there's a mistake. Surah 9, verses 29 and 30, you will... Um, oh, and so, so and Jews, uh, because of this, are supposed to get subjugated. Um... Since most Jews believe that, they're not supposed to get subjugated, but they are subjugated anyway because this is obviously meant to be all Jews, but all Jews don't believe that. In fact, no Jews do and have ever believed in that kind of nonsense. God bless.